Maui Police Department is trying something new in an effort to solve some cold cases, teaming up with a government database in hopes of finding somebody, an individual that could hold the key to bringing closure to what are, in some instances, decades old mysteries. Kimberly Speaker joins us now with more on this. Kimberly. Howard, it's called the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System. And Maui isn't the only county in Hawaii that's joined the database. The National Missing and Unidentified Person System has cases from almost every island. A spokesperson for the Maui Police Department says they made the decision to give the public the chance to track and follow missing persons cases. They also wanted to get the public's help to close some of these cases. There's currently a total of 111 missing persons cases for the state of Hawaii. The oldest case dates back to 1966. Michael Cannon, then 18 years old, left a note saying he was going to hike Tantalus. His car was found empty the next morning. Now added to the list is Laura Vogel, who disappeared after camping in the Pauela area of Maui in 2010. There's also the case of a missing mother, Morera Monsalve, who was last seen in Wailuku in 2014. But the database doesn't just have missing people. It also has people believed to be dead whose bodies were never found including Peter Boy Kema, who went missing on the Big Island in 1997. Last year, his father, Peter Kema Sr., was sentenced to 20 years in prison for his killing. Now that Maui has joined the database, this now includes Carly Scott, who disappeared in Makawao back in 2014. Scott's ex-boyfriend, Stephen Copobianco, is serving a minimum sentence of 50 years for her murder. But Scott's body was never found. The database also tracks unidentified and unclaimed persons. Hawaii currently has 49 open cases of unidentified persons and 234 open cases of unclaimed persons. In these cases, law enforcement agencies have already identified the victims but are still looking for their families and loved ones. By joining the database, Maui Police hopes to resolve some of its open cases. So far, the database has helped resolve nine missing persons cases here in Hawaii. And for a link to that national missing and unidentified persons system, you can go to our website, khon2.com. Back to you.